Good morning, my friends. This is Chip with The Real Dirt. And on today's Dirt, we're doing something a little different. You see, we had this uh, little cannabis uh, party. We invited some of the best growers in the world to it here in Denver, Colorado, and throughout the country. We had people from all over the country show up. It was a completely informal, impromptu, cannabis cup style party. What I mean by that is everybody brought a little bit of their weed. And then we had some celebrity judges, so to speak, uh, definitely expert judges, Adam Dunn, Matt Bickle, Eugene Monroe, Mackie Burke, all uh, experts in the cannabis industry. Adam with TH Seeds, uh, he's been seeing weed all over the world for 30 years. Matt Bickle, he's you know one of the premier consultants in the cannabis industry and sets up some of the most highly sophisticated grow rooms uh, throughout the whole country. Uh, you got Eugene Monroe. He's involved with many, many, many different dispensaries and grow operations throughout the United States and Canada. And uh, a, a former NFL football player who uses cannabis to relieve some of the bashing that he got while playing in the pros. So we took those guys and everybody brought in their weed and those guys, including myself, with a little direction, rated all the weed, commented on all the weed. Then we kicked it out to all the other participants, uh, everybody who came, and they got their chance to smoke it, judge it. And it, it was really a haphazard free for all. I'm by no means claiming this was like a, a, a incredible event. We we had it at a private location. We didn't really put that much money into it. it we I, I literally just wanted to like see some perfect buds. And there was a lot of great weed at this event. Weed from all over, East Coast, West Coast, Colorado. And there was a lot of great weed. We had 63 entries and then 45 ended up getting uh, actually judged. And the other 13, you know, or 23 or what, what it, whatever, whatever the math, my stoned math is here, I'm not sure. The remaining strains were kind of lost. And I think they just got like smoked in the eagerness of it. We got some photographs of some of it. Some stuff came in late. Like I said, it was just a party for us. I wanted to see some great weed and I did. And we took pictures of it all, and you'll be able to like see all of this stuff on our website. If you go to our website, you'll see all of the comments we made, the photographs of it all. We got a little, uh, you know, work to do for the next run. We do it again, but it it was fun, man. I think I'm, we might have hurt some people's feelings accidentally. Didn't quite mean to. Sorry for that. My bad. We were judging, I shouldn't say judging, This all of this weed was getting raided in this like back area, and it was like a group of friends, right? We we're like smoking weed and jiving on the weed in front of us, and, you know, some of the stuff that you might say to your buddy, you know, you, you might not say out into public or, or whatnot. And then also the case is that, you know, many people think they have great weed, and they don't because they don't see other people's weed. They just know that they keep selling whatever they got. And man, hey, you know, God bless you, dude. If you can sell everything you got and you don't have to grow the best weed, then like you are the man. And, you know, I understand like the Budweiser Coors Light type culture is different from the microbrew culture. And that's exactly what we're going to have in the cannabis industry. We're not quite there yet, but. We were looking for some of the finest weed, and I'm sorry if you got your feelings hurt over some of the comments. All the judges, all the people rating the cannabis stand behind everything they said. You know, man, if your weed didn't have any crystal, or if it's flat because you dried it while it was green, or it has a mint green smell, if it's hand trimmed, it looks like it's been sculpted and shaped and all the crystals are still chopped off of it, just like it would be machine trimmed. If it doesn't have that complete, complete smell, if it doesn't look just incredibly perfect, like no one's touched it, if, you know, it doesn't smoke as smooth as possible and ash completely white and just leave this incredible resinous flavor in your palate, you know, moments after you've like 
breathed out the last puff and you know when you pass it on to the your fellow smokers in your circle like the third or the fourth smoker you can still taste that overwhelming you know flavor and you can feel all the terpenes just working inside your palate that's perfect weed and if you don't have that you have some work to do and I know from experience, from helping thousands and thousands and thousands of people with their grow operations, literally, through my selling of potting soil, I live in Northern California, my, my contacts throughout uh, the hydroponic and indoor gardening supply industry through Cultivate Colorado, we're one of the largest stores in the country. Like I see a lot, you know, I've helped people a lot. Sometimes there's reasons why you don't have crystal. I can't control, you know, number one being you can't control your environment, right? Uh, you know, and, you know, sometimes you're going to struggle with that until you can control it. Now, yes, absolutely. In the perfect world, you should roll in, set up a laboratory grade environment or at least a kitchen grade environment where you're growing fine cannabis and you control the environment completely. <sighs> that just doesn't happen all the time. And it's farming, you know, some, you know, things go wrong and, you know, but we got to own up to these mistakes and we got to decide if we need to fix these things or not. If it's things beyond our control, it's important to recognize that the quality of product is an A, A plus, B, B plus, C, C plus, D, F. Recognizing the quality has is absolutely different from being able to sell whatever product you have. Because honestly, like, you know, F and D grade product is really easy, easy, easy to grow with low profit margins. And if you can sell it easily and make money on it, then like, the, you know, I don't know, man, there's there's nothing really wrong with that. Right. But just be aware that that's what you're doing. You know, and if you're growing C and B weed because it's a commercial process and you want it to be commercial and you don't want to, you know, you have a customer base that wants a certain price point or a certain, you know, and, and that's it. And so you deliver it to them at that price point and you're growing commercial cannabis, commercial weeds, man, that's who you are. I, I'm, I don't have anything against that, but you're not growing the best weed. You're growing C's and B's, Right. And, and like, be, dude, be proud of it, man. Like, if you got good business, like, that's the biggest part of it all, right? You know, do I have good business? Can I fulfill my customers' needs? Can I acquire new customers? And as long as you can do that, just recognize what this quality of product that you're giving to these people, you know, your customers. If your customer requires that the A and A plus you know, he's going to dictate to you, she's going to dictate to you the quality that they want. And, you know, you're going to be able to charge more for it. It happens all over the country. You know, man, for instance, Portland, Oregon. Man, I see there's like $1 grams up there, $3 grams. Nuts. But my buddy Fletcher over at Archive Seeds in Portland. I'm not quite sure of the uh, email connection, but you can check them out on Instagram and follow him. They sell high quality weed and people line up to buy it and he's able to charge a premium for it. You know, and yes, it does take him more time and energy to grow it, but he has a customer base and he has his profit margin and, and you know, that works out for him. You know, so so like know what you're what what you have. And just because you're able to sell it all day long, but you're growing D quality and F quality weed, right? Be under no illusions that you're growing great weed. Just, you know, you're doing great weed business and, that, and that's awesome for you, right? That's my little diatribe on, you know, weed growers and how I see farmers and business people. Everybody has tremendous pride in product that they produce and manufacture just like I do, you know, I'm a manufacturer of, of, of goods for the cannabis industry and I have extreme pride for it as well. I do constantly take evaluation on the quality of those products that I introduce to market. And if you're a cannabis grower or if you're a maker of hydroponic nutrients or if you're a maker of organic soil or a biological ingredient, 
you know, take pride in what you do. And when there's packaging problems, when there's labeling problems, when there's mixing problems, just recognize it, you know, deal with it as you can, whether it's a total recall or an explanation to the customer or a rebate or however you're going to deal with it. Just, you know, recognize those when they happen because it just does. All right. So, uh, hey, I'm, I want to mention some like really great weed and some great people at this event. Man, I'm just going to go through the list here of stuff that I liked. Raz, Mandarin cookies. There was a bunch of cookies and cream. Oleo, they had, they were the winners as a matter of fact. Man, Earl's always bringing the fire with their motherfucking headband and their Wi-Fi. That shit was great. Man, you know, one, one cannabis that I really enjoyed was the Motor Breath. And, uh, everybody, everybody behind the scenes the past few days have been saying this is really good weed. And, you know, I'm always a skeptic, but, but this guy grows great weed and it was good weed. LA, some cushions, man. I was really impressed with this nine pound hammer commercial weed, but you know, it was, it was totally smokable and tasted good. The grower did a really great job. Geisha, Geisha was definitely some fine weed smells like, uh, loquats maybe. Man, there was some others, uh, you know, I'm, I'm always so bad with names and hesitant to like, you know, speak people's actual grower names or whatnot, but there was some fire out there. There was, however, not a perfect nugget. I did not see the perfect nugget. And, you know, I, I, I guess that maybe I was a little let down over that. I know that there are perfect nuggets out there in the world, but on this Judging of 63 cannabises, I did not see one nugget that looked perfect, smelled perfect, smoked perfect. There was not one. So I appreciate all who entered, and I really mean it from the bottom of my heart. You're doing a great job. You guys can all do a little bit better because I didn't see a perfect nugget. There was some that smoked great but didn't look great. There was some that smelled great but didn't smoke great and look great. There was some that looked great and smoked great, didn't smell great. You see what I'm saying? You got to have all three of those to be a perfect, perfect nugget. No ego here. I just want the best weed. Hands down, that's all I'm looking for is the best weed. And I'd really like to encourage people to like live up to their potential grow up to their potential and bring some fire bring some fire to the table so this episode here's what we're going to do we've got travis crane he's our uh social media manager um you know he's he's a younger guy he's come out here from the east coast and de- doesn't really know a bunch about weed he likes weed uh and and he's he's a great social media guy so You know, we brought him over and he's been doing a really great job this past year. We've really grown our followers. The look of everything we're doing is really awesome. And you guys have said that to us. Uh, So I know uh, he's doing a great job. But, uh, you know, he he really just didn't have a ton of experience with weed. He'd probably never seen more than two or three different strains at once. So after the event, we uh, brought back all of uh, the leftover samples that we could, and I got I gathered a couple other experts. Uh, Jacob Sarabia, he's our commercial sales manager for Cultivate Colorado, and you know he he sees tons of weed. He was raised in Humboldt County, California, and has been seeing weed all his life. And throughout Colorado and the U.S., he sells equipment commercially and gets to go into some of the most sophisticated grow rooms in the world, literally, and see what they're producing. And he's a lover of cannabis uh, as well. And we also had uh, Jessica Baker. She's an herbalist, acupuncturist, and uh, my wife. But she's also, man, quite the cannabis expert on uh, the chemistry of cannabinoids and on uh, uh, uh secondary compounds, the terpenes, the medicinal uses of it. She loves plants of all types, knows, you know, three or four different names for every plant that she comes across. And so she's really a student of cannabis and and really knows how to like tell it and look at it. Even though we're all friends here, so it was also like a a little bit of a snobbery event. 
And we just kind of go through all of the uh, weed and talk to Travis about it and, and try to like school him up a little bit. Now it gets a little silly, gets a little fun. I think we all get a little stoned. Enjoy this episode and definitely check out the website and see all this information. You can see, you know, how our celebrity judges rated all the cannabis. You can see pictures of some of the cannabis. This is fun. So we just wanted to kind of like bring you into this little like episode of the cannabis culture because I know many of you don't get it out there. If you enjoyed this episode, please download The Real Dirt at therealdirt.com or go to our iTunes account, The Real Dirt Podcast with Chip Baker and subscribe. If you haven't done this already, please go subscribe to The Real Dirt with Chip Baker. Uh, Even if you don't listen to all the episodes or you don't think you need to subscribe, man, it really help us out and and get us further along on reaching more people. And it's really important with the ratings of iTunes for us to have as many subscribers as possible. You know, the the higher we show up on that, the more people get to uh, be exposed to us. Being a cannabis podcast, we have limited advertising possibilities within Google, within Facebook, within Instagram. It's all stuff that we do on our own. So we need your help to grow our cannabis community. So go to the Real Dirt Podcast on iTunes and subscribe. So sit back, fire one up, and get silly. You're going to have a real good time. Real Dirt. Here we are in the Real Dirt once again. We're in the Real Dirt studios. Today is a little different. I have a uh, foursome in the studio here. Myself, Travis, a.k.a. Tuck, Jessica Baker, world-renowned cannabis expert, and Jacob Sarabia, our number one source of knowledge of all things commercial cannabis. Thank you have it for having you all to the show today. Thank you. Thank, thank you for you. having Thanks us. Thanks for having you, us. You guys sound so enthusiastic. Very Let's try it again. Hey, thank you for having the show today. Hey, Let's smoke some weed. Us. Yeah, thanks for having us. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Smoke weed. Yeah. Where is it? Ah, uh, so here's what's <laughs> going on. You guys already know this, but our uh, listening audience doesn't. As I point to all the equipment, <laughs> we had a cannabis cup of sorts. A private cannabis cup for our some of our customers at Cultivate Colorado. We invited everybody to bring their best weed. It was kind of a backyard barbecue type event, wouldn't you say, guys? Yeah, yeah, backyard. Yeah, it was at it was at an undisclosed location at an undisclosed time and date. It was invitation only, and we had about sixty different entries. Now, most cannabis cups, they enter all the weed ahead of time, and they look at it all, they test it, they judge it over the course of days. But we said, "Fuck that." Right. We wanted to have a smoke out. Plus, with the laws in the Colorado, we kind of have this uh, situation where we can't really possess weed like that. We only possess an ounce at a time legally. So the way we made this a a nice and, and legal event was we invited everybody to bring less than an ounce of weed. It was their weed. They brought it into our undisclosed location at undisclosed time and date. We had an intake process. All the flour went to the back office, so to speak. We categorized, rated, and labeled all of the 61 jars. At that point, we threw all the jars out to our participating audience. About 45 people showed up. Several people bought multiple entries. Uh, Mighty Tree brought nine entries, and Good Kim brought several entries. And we invited everybody to test all of the flour, and rate it. There can be only one, though. There was only one winner. There was no second place. There were no scorecards. You just had to say, that's my favorite shit. Now, it might have been a little haphazard. It was definitely fun and a free-for-all. At the same time, we also had comments from our rating section where all the weed got inventoried and pre-rated. And I had Eugene Monroe, Matt Bickle, and Adam Dunn all rating the cannabis for us. And, wow, they were really serious with their job. You guys saw some of the comments. 
Right. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. We definitely saw the they were, they were real. They were real comments. comments. Some people enjoyed them. Some people might not have enjoyed them as much. Yeah, exactly. And <clears throat> you can hear my throat. We smoked tons of the ganja. And just to flow you through it, here's what we did. We opened a jar. We looked at it all, smelled it. If it's... I, <laughs> hold on. My studio audience is trying to get into some weed. You guys got to hold on for a second. Oh, look, the pause. It's tempting. I'm, I'm tempting. I know. We I'm the only one being patient here. Oh, oh yeah. yeah I know. Hey, jar. Tuck, good job, Tuck. Thank you. Good job, Tuck. Thank Tuck's you. the youngest member of our uh, audience today, and uh, he, his patience is incredible. What year were you born again? 19 what? 95. In the 90, In the 90s. He's here for right. Generation X. All right, excellent. We'd open the jar and pass it around, smell it, and look at it. If it had any problems at all, we would immediately throw those problems out. If it was ugly or to professionalize ugly or uh, didn't smell right, we kind of like kicked it to the side immediately and only smoked the ones that looked great and smelled great, which is about three quarters of the entries. And that's, that's surprising. Right. Especially here in Colorado. It, it, yeah, we had people from all over Northern the country. Over here. Yeah, totally. <laughs> we had people from all over the country. Man, some of those people got a little upset at us when we raided their flower. You know what goes on here? So many people grow tons of weed and they never see anyone else's flowers, right? So they think their weed is the best. And this was a great opportunity to share how other people grow weed. And to treat it like a baseball dugout, so to speak. I don't know that analogy. Swing, bada, 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 swing, swing. You suck. You couldn't hit the side of a fucking barn. You know, that type of stuff. You heckle the batter, right? So we had a little heckling going on. It was all in good fun. If you got heckled and it upset you, I'm sorry it upset you. However, you just need to like work on, on your quality of weed. And next time we have one of these, or the next time you go to one of these, like really think about it. Enter the best weed you have. When it says on the invitation, bring your best, mm-hmm. don't bring generally seeds. it <laughs> makes sense to bring the best and not bring weed with seeds in it. Not bring weed that doesn't smell. Which we got. Not that bring like weed more. that didn't look like weed. <laughs> I mean, there's so many different options. Just because you're... Well, have a strain named maybe, maybe like pineapple purple punch cookies crossed with old granddad sock doesn't mean it's necessarily <laughs> the best. Absolutely. Absolutely. Just and that's something that happens here in Colorado and many other legal states is you can still sell all the weed you grow. And until people can't sell the weed anymore, because now they're saying they can't, but they're still selling weed. People still sell weed here. The right? number one defense I heard there when somebody thought had gotten a bad review, they were like, well, I don't have any more of it in the store. It clearly sells. It's not hard to sell bad weed, yeah, especially, especially to tourists to people coming from Kansas. to Colorado. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, right. You can yeah. go to Oregon and get dollar grams of yeah. weed. Yeah, I guarantee right. dollar you it's grams not looking too weed. good. Totally. But no matter where in the world you go, if you have the top flower cannabis, you will always sell it. You'll always be in demand. Everybody's nodding their head. Oh, but like, here, here, yeah, nod. you can't yep. see a nod yes. on radio, Nodding. Jessica. Nodding. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, you just say nod, nod, <laughs> smile, nod. smile, nod. Verbalize your actions. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I am now picking well, up my cup of tea because uh, my throat's still blown out after the whole uh, episode. The main reason we're here today, though, is to train young Tuck. Oh, is this the purpose of This is the smoke purpose. This is, is the this purpose. purpose. The younger yeah. generation has no respect for good weed. Yeah. yeah. Well, well, I, can, I, can I give some background for my reasoning at least? Okay. He was so, raised in Amish country, churning yep, butter. Yeah, yeah, raised in Amish country, left the farm when I was 16, came out here right away. Was that Yom Kippur or what do they call it? <laughs> uh, Yom Springer. Yom Springer, Yom Springer. Wrong, yeah, wrong yeah. Religion. Ran away, didn't come back. No, but uh, they kicked you out. You didn't run away. Grew up on the East Coast in Pennsylvania, and it was uh, very not legal there. And basically, especially that didn't stop any of us. Yeah, well, it didn't stop me either. So uh, (laughs) the hard part, though, was living in bumfuck nowhere, where any way you walked a mile in any direction, you'd end up in a cornfield. So I was lucky to find, like, one dealer around my area that could drive, like, 15, 20 minutes to go pick some up. Amish dude, he'd hang out at the corner of the corn patch. Yep, walk up to the back of his wagon. He'd have his, 
his wares. <laughs> <laughs> he had some handmade no, spoons uh, and some ganja, some green corn and some no, handmade No, I was food. usually able to find somebody like through my high school or my brothers or something like that because they're both older and all smoke. But basically, I just moved out here, what, almost six, seven months ago. Never had access to this much quality weed, so kind of just had a field day with it. And I'm still in that honeymoon phase where all weed is pretty much good weed. But I need to learn the difference between good weed and bad weed. So that's why I'm, I'm here. So I can learn. And, and become, that's why we're here. And that's yeah. why we're here. We're here to take you under our wing. I need to be educated in weed snobbery. Yeah, it's not so much weed snobbery. More like uh, connoisseurism. Mm. With an element of snob. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what we have over here is we have uh, uh, several varieties and jars. Jacob, will you grab the bottom box there? Oh, I didn't realize that box had jars too. Yeah. This is the one with all. So the one of the one, you know, there's many ways to do a cup, and I'm not. I, we've had dozens. I'm not into uh, calculating or tabulating or any type of metrics or statistics. I think it's mostly just bullshit, unless it's because it's. So, hey, 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 hey! Put that lid back, back on, on there. Back it's, on. It's, hey, I didn't get to look at this one the other day, man. I did. One. Okay, so every, every, everybody's excited here. There's a shuffle, shuffle them up here. Just put them all out. Just put them all out. Here. Just get them all out. Here. Right, right. We're just gonna like shuffle these jars out here. We have a, we have a few jars coming out. Just put them out. I'm just gonna say about the right, shuffling right. jars that I had to show up late because I was working to this private event, and so I really only got to consume maybe four or five of the sixty. So I saw these comments and I really didn't know what they were talking about. So I look forward to judging these. Dude, what are you myself. doing? Put that lid back on that jar. This, that's it's like dealing with cards, it's man. Natural yeah. reflex. He <laughs> <laughs> throws jars in front of us. And then All right, we're done here. Yeah, exactly. Let us it's like throwing <laughs> fifty different varieties of chocolate oh, in front of a little. What do we got in there? I don't know, Jake. Some more. We're giving each other some like secret signs hand signals. So we're we're just, I'm just, uh, hey, I'm just organizing everything. I just know what he likes. And earlier in the day, I said. Someone's gonna bring the strain, and you're gonna like it. I've seen it in the comments. I know, I know it was definitely enjoyed. It was enjoyed. Uh, you know the thing thing about cannabis strains, everybody makes up names for them, though. You don't like boner breath? B- uh, boner? I think I don't personally like boner breath, but if it's a good weed, then I think boner breath's great. But yeah, sometimes you do come to work with boner breath, Jacob, and I didn't quite know how to approach you over it. But uh, uh, we've got some boner breath mints now. <laughs> and we're just gonna like start like uh, put them on your desk when you show up. So the the jars are are steadily stacking here. Jessica looks excited, you know. Well, I've been wanting to get stoned for like hours. Oh, hours. Do so we still got coming. more? In? Is it more coming oh, here? Last two right here. Last I mean, two. All right. right, and then there's you and then always got to smoke. That's the smoke in preparation. Sixty, sixty-one, sixty-two. Blew out his throw. I was like, you know, trying uh, to be pr- uh, supportive. Just the uh, sixty. Yeah, there's a few like that. Sixty, sixty-one. That's got to get a base too. No, I don't really like. There we go. That's what it's edible. All right, so we got we got a bunch of the samples out. You know, some of the samples got smoked, so we're not going to be able to look to smoke them all. Probably right. 40 samples here, at least. All right. I'm sure the empty ones were the worst. <laughs> so, <laughs> let's see. We just want to have all these out here. We're going to push them around here, and we're just going to... I'm gonna let everybody pick up a jar at once. Now, Jacob, just pick up one. He's gonna one at a time. One at come on, one at a time. You say everybody pick up one. Jacob's gonna pick up the jar. What do we have here? Here we got some uh, Lucinda Williams. Okay. Well, well, uh, well, 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 hold on. Pardon me. Pardon me. Jacob's just gonna pick up the jar and we're gonna pass it around and smell it. Okay. And he's not gonna say what name it is or who grow it. Should we each describe a a smell that we get from it? First thing out of your mouth. No smell. Quick, dry. Smells like bread. It smells grassy. It almost smells like armpit. <laughs> All right, now, Jacob. That Sorry. could be a good thing. It could <laughs> yeah, be a very little smell, but out here in Colorado, it is hard to keep the smell. Um, here, let me pull some of my four-month weed out over there, and you'll see that it smells, Jacob. 
you know, some of uh, if you don't give a shit about it, then it doesn't. No, it looks. I mean, the bud structure is nice, tight buds. I'm sure the pounds look like they're quarter pounds. So would that be like a machine trim? Definitely That's a machine, machine trim. Trimmed. You can yeah. see how nice close it is. It looks like I mean, for for commercial recreational weed. Yeah. Like yeah. if I was walking, I'd give it a seven or eight. You know, it looks great. Also, at the dispensary, a lot of times you can't smell it first, so yeah. Yeah. Push those jars to the side. Or you smell something, but that's not actually. And that's what not you actually get. what you get in the jar. Or yeah. The green sea. But I mean, from from a look, especially if you came from somewhere where there isn't good weed, you would see that and you would be no, like, "Oh, no. that's amazing!" Dude, well, exactly. exactly. This would be awesome. Georgia, yeah. So that's the thing. Hey, it doesn't matter where you are if a if a sack of poorly grown ganja shows up. Maybe you're going to smoke the whole thing. Maybe you're going to make it last for two weeks, but you should be able to talk shit about it. And that's kind of what's going on here. Is I, I, I want to I wanna say, hey, you know, uh, this, this clearly isn't good for this reason. So Let's here's some, what's going on. We're going to put this weed out it. here. We're going to get some light on it. And this is why this is B-grade weed, is it is... Machine trimmed. It's machine trimmed really close. There's no crystals on it. None at all. It feels super dense. That's usually like, when it feels like this dense. It's usually a a, a a growth hormone that makes it that way. Maybe it's not. But you know what else that it can be is just like super jack nutrients. And when that happens, you usually don't get the the smell or the flavor. The other thing that goes on is I'm pretty sure this was trimmed green and ran through a machine. It looks like it was definitely wet trimmed. And that's why it has that smell. That smell right there, that's a common smell that you'd get with Canadian weed. Now, this is called Lucinda Williams, this weed. I'm not, not sure if it's made up, but, you know, yeah, this looks like of a, I'd say, like, it is definitely an OG, maybe skunk type variety. I'm going to take the OG out of it all the way. It's mostly European genetics, BC genetics, maybe. So what makes these nugs so rock hard compared to the other ones that were like super airy? Well, many things, but we'll feel the difference between this nug and others. And this got trim green and put in. So like wet trim, right? It got wet trimmed. And whenever that happens, often the buds get pressed and denser. And you see how there's only soft edges on the weed. Mm -hmm. That means it's gone into some sort of container and pressed in there. Mm. Not on purpose, just by the weight of the ganja. Yeah, yeah. Right? It's either been jacked, it's either hydro, or it has a growth hormone in it. That's Mm. what makes it that dense. I'm going to start looking at the actual genealogy yeah, behind these know. strains. Oh, what they, Are we recording? <laughs> it says this yeah. uh, Lucinda Williams is a Cindy 99, which yeah. I am okay. very familiar Euro, with. Yeah. Euro Times Stunk. Williams. Which is? Which I've, Williams Wonder? Just uh, Williams. Yeah, it's on the second line. You're right. Williams Wonder Breeder. Oh, right. So it's just a hermaphrodited C99 strain that... <laughs> <laughs> which oh so much fun. is. Right. I just want to say... Uh, to my East Coast people that this bud that I'm looking at right now, what it didn't even get passed on to the actual voters at the competition because the judges didn't approve. And this would probably be like a $40, $45 eighth back East just because of how it looks. So and that, that makes me make so sad. Table? That's not true. That totally made it to the table. It made it to the table. Did it? That totally it made it to the table. Smoked. Nobody smoked it. Oh, well. Mm. I guess that might say more. But that's also, that's it, this is the best of the best cannabis. Yeah, when you come and there's true. 30 jars of weed that's exotic and smells amazing with the lid still on it, and then you come let's across this, new one. you're probably going to smoke something different. Let's yeah. move on to new one. Jessica, pick uh, one. Uh, well, and, and let's just, speed round. Don't look at it. Just smell it. Pass it around. Smell it. Pass it. Smell it. Pass it. it. One word. Hmm. No, smell it. Pass it. Don't pick it up. The one word would be chlorine afric. That genealogy. That's, a compound, <laughs> that's even a compound word, I believe. Can you elaborate? Yeah, Miss, Mr. Clean, very bleachy. Yeah. I personally love that smell, though. Oh, yeah, this is uh, this is like the the heart attack kush. Uh, what's that What's that strain? Heart attack kush? Oh, kush cleaner. Kush cleaner. Yeah, it smells like a clean. Yeah, it really yeah, it's definitely got the cleaner. The lemon, lemon cleaner smell. Yeah, yeah, like but a fabuloso a almost. Too, yeah, it's like an something. old moldy bottle of fabuloso. <laughs> lemon pledge or something. And what strain is that there? Juicy, Juicy G. Juicy G? I did actually just get some of this uh, from this person. 
the board. So it's now. it's swollen. Wow. It has uh, it has more ca- calyx development. Yeah, let's dump it out here. The other staff did not. This one's I, I really love more airy. I re- no, this isn't airy. Isn't the pr- direct correct term for this, oh. right? So this is uh, swollen calyxes, but you press it, and it's you'll see it's dense. not. It's dense. Oh yeah, it's just a different bud right? structure. It's just not like the little structure. golf balls. If you yeah. see the if the the these well, the these spirals like right up. here, these are swollen false seed pods, and when they when cannabis is grown like really perfectly and jacked, they'll swell up and uh, stack up like that. So then, so that's like it's called stacking. Stacking, oh, right? It's okay. stacked out. Yeah, I've heard. Right? Of that. And, and there's also a good. Like, I mean. A lot of people like different weeds. You being from the East Coast, you like that weed that looks real, you know, hard, perfect looking bud. Yeah. Like this, per- personally to me, it looks like terrific weed just based on all the different calyx stacking, the crystal it has a content. dynamic structure. Yeah, you it's, see, it's not just yeah. round. Well, yeah, it looks really pretty. Right. There's crystal on it. Uh, a great color. And I, I personally don't like this type of smell. What type of weed is it? It's uh, so Juicy G is uh, exotic genetics, very popular right now. The mother is the juice. The father is triple OG, which I think we have the triple OG somewhere in here too. So that's a good one. Hey, let's let's keep looking for some weed we want to All smoke right. though. Let's grab your right. turn. Right. And where's the? Here. Oh, right well, the this bottom. one might not be ready if we were to want to smoke it. But well, we, we got one? some cookies and cream. Oh, cookies and cream. Just because right. it's got a name doesn't mean anything. All man. right, just smell it. Pass it around. One one word. You're not supposed to say the name either. Um, well, I mean, it smells like cookies. Yeah, see, <laughs> see, see, you just emplace this thought in everyone's head when yeah, you're like, yeah. oh, it's cookies and cream. And you probably put this thought in your head, cookies and cream. Remember strawberry? I don't know. I mean. So we used to have this weed, strawberry, and it had mm-hmm. buds that look like strawberries. But people were like, oh, strawberry. Oh, it smells just like strawberry. Yeah. Mm. I'm getting a little bit more cream, honestly. <laughs> yeah. Nice nugget here. It uh, feels wet. It hasn't quite cured out. I don't even think we can smoke this, but like in maybe a day or so. I would if, if we could smoke it. I'd want to smoke well, it. Well, I'm we, willing to it, take it and let it rest for a couple of days yeah, and what? then test it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, so this is this is a really good looking nugget. Right, you can right, see right. how the calyx stack out. Yeah, you can see yeah. how much crystal is on it. You see the dynamic change in color. Yeah. Right, like that makes a really good nugget. Not that round nugget that we were looking at earlier that you were telling your your Amish friends. <laughs> you see how squishy it is? Mm-hmm. That's the moisture in it. Yeah. Now smell that smell? That smell? That's called the quick dry smell. Right? Even and it comes with not only quick dry, but if you like if it's too wet and you put it in the bag, it gets that smell. Mm. Right? It and you know, this could be great weed, but today it's not. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Let's let's keep on looking. Oh, it's my turn. It's, it's my turn. turn. Yeah, I'm just gonna Should we random. Leave the lid off this? Yeah, let's leave yeah. the lid yeah, off let's that. Let's do that person the favor and dry their weed for them. Yeah, we're uh, gonna need to smoke that in the morning, Marley Sunday. All right, I just opened up the jar. No smell. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, nothing. Nothing that really stands out. Again, it's uh. Okay. Mm-hmm. Oh, we're just talking smell. We're not looking smell. at it. Smell. Yeah, it smells like hay-ish with a little sweetness, maybe. You gotta roll one of these. Up. We've yeah, gotta find one. It smells smoke, like. <laughs> we better start picking better, you guys. Yeah, it smells like quick dry, wet dry. When you really give it a good squeeze, you can get a little bit of the grape wait, 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 in there. Oh, it's the gamble. It. You can't like select squeeze it. on there. Yeah, when, more comes out if you squeeze it for sure. But yeah, I mean, I just coming it. from just coming. Okay, one, it is drier here in Colorado, so I get it. But this two, isn't from Colorado. This, this isn't dry from, weed. Just coming from Northern isn't California, you open a jar and that shit smells. If you don't smell it when you open the jar, to me, something's wrong already. Mostly in Northern California. You smell it through the jar, and if you have <laughs> if you have weed that doesn't smell, most people don't open it up. Oh yeah, when you push on right. The well, I mean, I just mean in general. When so you okay, open so a jar, you have to like you have to squeeze this weed mm-hmm. for it to smell. It's definitely been uh, machine trimmed. 
it's which often is a cause of losing flavor. Dispensaries and, and organizations often go for a machine and green trim in order to save labor and money. I think there's lots of other ways to save money with growing cannabis, and you should at least have what supposedly your finest buds should be hand trimmed. Well, and there's no crystal. And there's no crystal because it, it got machine trimmed. It got machine, machine trimmed when it's it. green, and it just pulls all that shit yeah. off there. Okay. So let's no, just throw that everyone, away. Don't green trim your weed. You can then, you can machine trim all the weed you sell in your dispensary, but when it's the best of the best competition. Pull aside a couple branches, give it a nice hand trim, give it a nice 10 give it a hand job. to 21 day cure, and then yeah. bring it in. Yeah, totally. I mean, it was kind of a last minute event. No, it no, it wasn't a last minute event. What it was was an event that says, if you got it now, then that means you're the shit. Right. If I'm going to say, Jessica, I want you to prep for six months on it, then all right, now that weed smells good. See, he already just, Jacob just chose again. He opened up a jar. He's three feet away from me. And smells I smells great. The weed. Beautiful, beautiful he, looking bud. He, he barely A little bit of a purple hint in there. Yeah, this is, okay, this is, this is a weed. This is an A plus weed to me. We'll, we'll talk about that in a second. It's a solid 94, 96. I'd say it's a 91. <sighs> yeah, that's an A minus. It smells good. <laughs> that's a 91. It's over 90, but I'll, I'll, I'll let Jessica, uh, be the real asshole and see what she has to say. <laughs> no, that definitely has a smell. It looks good. It's almost this, like, I mean, I can't even describe it. Exactly. Here. Yeah, that's how it's, I mean. Well, it's, 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 it almost it's, smells like. I personally. It almost smells like an Ur, like Urkel or something, but not as like pungent. It smells like Urkel with like mixed with, uh, yeah, some like. Again, being Colorado, that smell or isn't okay. Like so it Jacob is over here good. pressing the weed, and that makes it smell more. I also if just you put it, if you we'll put teach, it back we'll in the jar, we'll teach something here. Yeah, here. You know about a Santa Cruz top? Nope. Oh. Uh, uh, Santa uh, Cruz uh, top is a great way to get the smell. Beautiful looking bud. You just snap the top off. Get your nose right in there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's a that's a great way to have to sell your weed. And you're like, oh, let me Santa Cruz top it because it don't but smell, but I break gives- it open. <sighs> All right, so here's why here's why it's not an A plus. Put it back in the jar. Take a just take one sniff, one solid sniff. Jessica, pass it around. Right? Jacob, pass it around. At the end of the sniff, the smell goes, it goes away. away. Yeah, it doesn't linger, yeah. Mm-hmm. Right? So you just get the initial smell. Right, that smells great, and when you open the jar, it smelled great from three feet away, and this is totally smokable in A weed, but this is not perfect A plus weed. Now, this is called Wookiees, and it's from... I was just looking that up. Oh, yeah, yeah Wookiees right here says it's a... Uh, oh, there's a Indica Dominant there. Cross of White 91, which is a white Chem Dog 91, and Girl Scout Cookies, which everyone knows was probably the most popular strain there for a little while. Yeah. So they had a four-way hermaphrodite love fest, and this seed popped now, out. Now, there's also Wookie, singular, that it's a whole separate strain that is a cross of lavender and Appalachia. Yeah, that's why this is Wookiees, like cookies. So there you go. So they yeah. just want to confuse okay, here. So, so, so this is our first. Uh, yeah, this terrible. Is just like we were saying earlier, sometimes we <laughs> terrible, terrible names. I mean, there's not much in this world I just like more than Wookies, and yet the weed smells terrific. You don't like Wookies? Not a big Wook fan, no. Not Star Wars fan. Oh, All right, so you, so we grind it up. <laughs> not a big Star Wars fan. Everyone loves Chewbacca, but Wookies are another. Story. So as you grind it up, you see that you get the complete smell. Yeah. Right, so that's a complete mm-hmm. smell, and if it smelled like that when Dude, it came my, out of the nugget, that smells well good. Shit. Yeah, I got a little bit of, like <laughs> dankness. I get, it smells like fresh cookies. Yeah, I gotta get better at my like descripting descriptive terms. You know. You know. Well, when I think cookies, I'm sorry, I still think chocolate chip, and so um, you you're know, like, it doesn't smell like chocolate chip cookies to me. me. It smells like sugar cookies. It is more like a sugar cookie. You're yeah. Right. All right, so uh, but we're actually gonna roll this up. We're gonna, this is the first one we've tried okay, that, that and it's smells. It's time to pick another one. Yeah, let's pick oh, another one. Wait a second, it's, it's, it's Jessica. Jessica. Oh, Jessica. Okay. Oh. And then it's so me. So this is what happens: is Chip always tries to take. Okay. Um, okay. Well, ooh, I won't, yep. I won't say ooh. the name. I'm excited. Excited though, just based off the ooze. Ooze. <laughs> I'm excited for her excitement. Yeah, I mean, so this one immediately has a smell. It's not my favorite smell. It is definitely citrusy. 
See, I'm with the, a, but it's like that citrus sugar cookie. I'm very similar to the same thing. The way we, when it smells like that citrus, I'm always like, ooh, it brings me in. It intrigues me. It never gets me that high, though, so I generally don't smoke it. Yeah. Well, I'm I think, still, if yeah. it's citrus, I still want it to just be straight Calio. And I know they have all these crosses. Yeah. The cookie smell definitely you know, overwhelms been, the citrus, but is there a lighter in the house? Um, here, I'll grab a lighter and an ashtray. I always love a good... I got a lighter right here. Okay, this is, again, that just that C99 smell, right? But with it, a hit of citrus. Sh- I don't even smell the citrus, man. Because it's, again, quick-dried, it was either trimmed. Let's look at it. I haven't even looked at it. Okay. It was, again, trimmed green, machine-trimmed, right? So it has that fucked-up, quick-dried green smell. Is that a machine That's trim? a. That's like, oh, yeah. That's like B. That's B. That's a better tr- machine trim, though. Here's how, here, here's how you can tell. It does, it does smell like cookies. It just looks a little more natural. You can smell the citrus in there. That mandarin. This look is actually the, the mandarin cookies, and that mandarin is super calluses. popular right now. Well, and, and you see how those are all. It's probably the same. Oh yeah, right. Yeah, it smells yeah. like a. But so it's still a really like good it's job got, it's like it. that. But, I don't know. It almost smells like bo. But, so now, like, I think like, that's the cookie smell you're like getting. It kind of smells like sweet specks and stuff like Dude, that. I don't yeah. get that at all. I get straight Euro smell out of this. This is like 1994 it smells like the, uh, European G- scum. What is it? So, you know, like, what was that crap that it was in everything? But they cross the Mandarin with it, so it smells, it grows easier. Yeah, see, I think right? it has way more smell than you're giving it credit for. Well, you broke it open. Well, even before that. Mmm. I mean, again, it's just it's like some European BC weed, man. From yeah, the I mean, I'm not saying it's like Wonder Bar. I'm just and, saying I mean, when, it and when you smell more it, than almost anything we've smelled this far. It's, it's a cross between you? Tangerine Power and Girl Scout cookies. So a lot of these strains have well, been that Girl tangerine Scout power? cookies. It's just Tangerine, just Tangy, and somehow when you mix it with cookies, it turns into a Mandarin. Even though it's well, two so different fruits. Do all cookie <laughs> strains come from Girl Scout cookies? Mm. A lot of strains out right now. That's one of the parent strains because it was so popular. For Is there so just long. like a cookie strain? Oh, now? Girl Scout cookies was the most popular thing in California for. Four, yeah. five, six years. It still is. They even got into a lawsuit with the Girl Scouts of America over the name. Hey, and and still to this day, people are contracted to go three thousand dollar pounds of indoor in Northern California to get sold in dispensaries throughout California. Yeah. It's- so to people who are growing this shitty weed and saying that oh the price is just dropping, the price is just dropping. Grow better weed and we'll sell it for more. Nice. Shots fired. <laughs> Okay. All right, we're here's, the pr- little, here's, right. here's the t- here's the uh, which weed was this again? This was the Mandarin. No, no this cookies. was the, the joint. Oh, Wookiees. 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 We're smoking Wookiees. 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 All right. Here. Nice uh, Wookiee joint. Oh, here we go. Wookiees joint. Where's the lid? Here, we're going to put the keepers over here in the corner. <coughs> pretty smooth. All right. I think it's Tuck's pretty turn. Pretty smooth. Looks like it's burning white. Nice white ash. You see the I don't dark see any crackles. color smoke on it, though. Is that a little bit? That's blue. That's a blue. <coughs> Maybe that was just a paper. paper yeah, no, that's blue. It's blue smoke. <coughs> uh, yeah, mate, it's All smooth, right. huh? Well, I'm a cougher. You don't cough? Or you don't get off unless you cough. That's what they say, right, Tuck? Cough yep. to get off. So this Wookiees, I fired it up, passed it over. It's gone to three people now. It's taken <laughs> maybe a minute. I still have the flavor in my mouth, right? <laughs> it's very resinous. Right, and and that's a sign of really good smoking weed, Tuck. Not that it just like you know that you can still <laughs> taste it in your mouth, right? And yeah. Rub your teeth, out, your tongue over your teeth. It tastes good. It kind of tastes and... like um eating Chinese food though, which isn't a bad thing. For uh, it's a weird no, weird cannabis sensation. Cannabis often has that food it's relationship. Got like a, it tastes like I'm eating General Tso's chicken or something. Tastes like MSG. I love MSG. <laughs> you tell me you're gonna pass on a bag of Doritos right now. If they, we had a bag of Doritos right now, no. I probably wouldn't pass <laughs> on a bag of Doritos. And you wouldn't be able to put it down either. And I wouldn't be able to, you know. Even though Doritos are weird. All right, so I picked up another one here. Okay. Smell it, pass it. So I had to squeeze it a little bit to get a good smell Don't out stop of it. squeezing it. Just smell it and pass it and squeeze it on the second run. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So you had to smell it like five times yeah. and pinch it. That I, means that shit don't no smell. There's no smell in the jar yeah. at all. Right, and it doesn't <laughs> matter if it's Gorilla Glue. Yeah, when I got the smell from it, it kind of just smelled like some kind of like garden herb I just, or something. okay, I cheated. Mm-hmm. I squeezed it. There was still no smell. <laughs> See, I get a smell I get a smell from it. Jacob's But it's not, uh, 
It's not like you open the jar and it hits you in the face type of smell. Which it should be in what that is. I've it's never opened glue. a jar of that. In yeah, that it's Gorilla Glue. It I should mean, be. And it looks good. But it, looks, it good. looks good. It looks just like Gorilla Glue should. You can definitely tell it was hand trimmed. It's a little old. That's why the smell's gone away. Yeah. It's actually hand trimmed. It looks really good. It's silver. It's crystal. Uh, it, uh, whoever rough. trimmed the cannabis did a really good job. The calyxes are left intact. The vault seed pods are left intact. There, there's, there's no sculpting of the buds. It's the bud's true shape. It's also, I think this is a little nice old. It's, is what's but also, going on it here. being old, it's still got a very nice moisture content in oh, there. Dude, right, ever, a lot of weeds like just turns to dust. This is, yeah. you know, is this a hand trim? This is definitely a hand trim. Hand job. Definitely. So, like, anytime you see, like, these stray, these stray we'll leaves. We'll teach you about the hand jobs later. Like, these stray wow. leaves that stick Jake out. Jake, we're going to talk about a hand job. We heard it here. It is totally recorded. Well, in Amish country, we didn't get many of those, so. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh, that's poor Amish. No uh, wonder you, they, uh, like... You never had a root in the back of a wagon? I mean, they always seem to <laughs> Rumspringer. Rumspringer. <laughs> I know. Glad you made it out. Glad yeah. you made it out. Uh, we're back around to you, Chip. Oh, it's my round. Okay. It's your time to choose, and it's your hit. Uh, all right. Well, okay. Here we go. Which one I'm going to get? <laughs> Oh, that's that, uh, like citrus lime. That's saying like C99, since he seed smell. But like... Mild. It must. I mean, I know people say that's what weed smells like, but I've smelled enough weed to know it all doesn't smell like old and musty. It's got a little bit of a citrus smell, but it's got, it's... It's got nothing to it. The, the weed mean, bud structure looks great. I could see looks, how people could good. be a little upset about because you know, on just like looking without getting too close, that looks yeah. If you if you were in a dispensary and you couldn't see or if you couldn't smell it and you're just looking at it like that, well, that yeah. looks it that looks like weed. I would smoke for sure. Absolutely. But once you really get your nose in there, it's like. Eh. All right. Once again, machine trimmed heavy. It's sculpted. It's not like pressed out in a bag because you can see how yeah. it like spiraled out, right? It and looks it's, early too. It looks early too. No, yeah. It's just got no smell because they ruined it in the uh, machine trim. And or hey, just man, by the trimming process or the whole curing process, which is, can be hard to is get. This is a bad weed. It's blueberry headband. No, I'm sure you smoke that. Right? You're going to get you're gonna get Right. Late. And like, you know, to sell like a few dollar sack, then okay. You know, like if you're only selling like a fifteen dollar eight, then like fuck yeah. Well, like, and I've been to enough dispensaries in Colorado that if I saw that, I would probably be happy. Oh yeah, that's it's a, better that's a, than what I've seen. That's for good sure. weed in a dispensary <laughs> in Colorado. This is good for weed sure. in a dispensary. And that's probably a hundred fifty dollar ounce instead of your eighty nine dollar yeah, ounce. Yeah, I mean, I might have even smoked this the other day, but yeah, that man just. They're just killing that the, the cure. weed with the cure and that green trim with. The I know, and you know, everybody's complaining about the price of weed. And everybody's like, you know, saying they have to cut costs. But if, if if there's so much weed on the market, then why can't people slow the fuck down and make it better? Well, because they don't, one, know what good weed is. Two, don't give a shit. And three, mm. like we keep hearing, why do better if it sells? Because people are complacent with Who's whatever next? they have. All right, I'm rummaging around here. Oh, you're, you're cherry I'm picking. I'm rummaging a little bit. No, I'm just kind of moving them around. I'm going to pull this one out. It's not the strongest smell, but it does smell good. It smells uh, it smells fruity. It's a very one of those fruity varietals. Man, again, dude. Like, I mean, they they just ruin this weed by drying it, right? It has the quick smell, the quick dry smell, right? Which is they trimmed it green, they dried it quick, right? It, and this nugget is huge. It looks like a nice nugget plant, from a distance. Raz grows fucking awesome. These guys just need to slow up like five more fucking minutes and dry it just a little bit better and get all that bullshit out of your nose and your head about like, oh, if it takes too long to dry, it molds. And just learn how to do it. 
Just learn how to do it. It looks like weed I would well, smoke, though. Definitely in a bag, I would smoke that. I would Jacob, Jacob just pointed out that they machine trim. Well, the trimmers that they, I mean, the hand trim, the trimmers they hire are sculpting their butts. Stop sculpting That butts. is a big thing with the trimming, too. People Actually, just... Train right. your trimmers how to trim. A lot of trimmers I just mean, get thrown into it too, and they, you know, are said to take yeah. off all the leaves. And the easiest way to do it is shake it into a golf ball. It. Yeah, this has definitely been shaved. The smell is pretty much non-existent, but the bud looks great. The bud looks great, like and that's this, a hard thing. It's a prime it. example of weed that got kind of ruined, man. Learn how to cure your weed. Yeah, you Learn you put all that weed. effort into it. You put you know what a hundred days into growing this strain. And mm-hmm. is that the motion for beer yeah, crack? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Shh, don't say alcohol on the show. So is it possible for a weed <laughs> not to smell, like not to have a strong smell, but to still like smoke good, be good? Oh, absolutely. I'm yeah, sure absolutely. that weed smokes great. It's just, you know. Oh, <laughs> look at you. <laughs> well, let's find out. Let's find out. <laughs> let's find out. Put it on the table. <laughs> Put it on the table. <laughs> great, great way to segue into that. You know, we can't go through every jar and not smoke, so. Okay. <laughs> All right. Pass. So, hey, I'm going to give you some more skills here. You see this grinder? You see there's two sides to this grinder? What side do you put the weed in? Uh, <laughs> the bottom side. Well, it's just it's the small side. The small side. Yeah. The side that gets covered. Well, you know, here's what happens. Is the smaller side, you get to put less weed in it. And the bigger side, you put more weed in it. But if it's put in the bigger side, putting more weed in the smaller side can take. Oh. So, yeah. Then it gets clogged up. Well, that is See? great to know. That's I'm glad that, that that's how I've always done it, though. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm breaking this weed open. It's super dense. It is crystally as can be. Yeah, I mean, I'm almost when disappointed. You, yeah, it's no one smell. of those ones you really have to squeeze. It looks great. Once once he grinds it, you'll smell it because it smells like so it smells rock like a raspberry hard. patch. Did you tell me what it was? And I, uh, I couldn't, I couldn't find the find it. genealogy. The grind is just pure purple, pretty no, much. No, man, I mean, it's not raspberry patch. That's for sure. I don't yeah, get, get that at all. Of... It's like a mild, pleasant smell, but it's nothing. It's like a mild lavender or something. Yeah. It almost reminds me of old school lavender strain. Yeah. And the nugget is huge. What is that, Raz? Yeah. The nugget's huge. But again, faint because yeah, faint, that cure. It's just, yeah. All right, it okay. Here, here's like a, it powdered yeah, in yeah. the thing. Here's another thing about like uh, the one of the problems with the weed here is you see what it looks like now after we ground it's it up. Dust. It's just dust. It's just powder. Yeah. Right. And if you can keep your weed to having a higher moisture content than that, and maybe. You know, less moisture content than that one nugget we had out earlier. <laughs> right in between that. Sweet right spot. in between that. You know, like that's the sweet spot. And like, hey man, they do it with food. They do it with tobacco. Don't tell me it can't be done. You just got to think about it and want to do it. All right. Uh, is it my turn? Did you just yeah. pick one? I just picked one, so I think oh, it's Jessica's turn. Okay. Uh, should I go over here to your side? Yeah, let's no. keep you and one. Piece, people also invest so much money into the entire process, and then their dry room is like a closet that they found. Like, yeah, it's the like leftover. You go into a nice cigar shop, and the nicest part is the humidor. Yeah, where they can keep controlled exactly Dude. how they need it. Like they don't want the, what they have yeah, that's worth money that. to go bad. You see that? I just rolled the joint and I pushed it over. To press the weed in it, half of it fell the fuck out. Yeah, because it was just because it's cool. like it get it's just so dry. Okay, well, we've already smelled this before from somebody else, and I'll just say that like when I open the jar, I can actually smell it, but I can't say anything else about it because it's not time for that yet. I just was going to talk about the smell. It does smell more. It smells exactly like the strain. It smells like it should, you know. But again, man, without. That huge, like, resin content. I mean, I don't know. I just feel like I've seen that be, like, white Here, hit yes. with crystals. And this is Prime just, example. you know. If it looks like shit, then what happens? Tastes like shit? Yeah, totally. And I know these guys are, might have their feelings hurt, but, like, hey, man, it ta- we, I just took a big cardboard tasting dirt tobacco hit. Of what could have been a beautiful bud and was totally ruined at the end. Well, and it's got that chunky black ass, too. <laughs> And that taste that's in my mouth now, that's like the taste of uh, 
<laughs> of well, uh, 14 micronutrients and uh, the three majors, MPK. <laughs> Yeah, it's almost got a perfumey smell, but not, I mean, taste, but not in a good way at all. This could have been great weed. Okay, this yeah, weed's, like- this weed's great. I haven't looked at it, but this is the first great weed that we've had this smell. This has a complete smell. There's hardly any of it, so that must mean we smoked the hell out of it. It's got a farmer trim on it. There's leaf on it. They left a bunch of, I mean, yeah, a little bit of leaf. Put it on the thing. Put it on a there. little bit of leaf, right? Right? It's, mm-hmm. I mean, it's super crystally. Let's roll up some of that. Yeah, because I don't think we should smoke what we dude. Would now this is scratch. now this is Mister. Th- yes, yeah, so let's put that up. This is uh. Hey, you want you want Hey, here you go. Try, why don't you try it out? Put, grind it up there. All right. Um. Oh, this is a proper only, example yeah, of grill. I'll try to only get. People <clears throat> only know what the real dirt. Looks and you know, like, so. I'll go ahead and say it. Uh-huh. Yeah, you you to this is a uh, Mister Nice Guys Gorilla Glue. This shit was great. You can smell it in the jar. The I was going to say, even when there's no weed in the jar, mm-hmm. it still smells. That's one of the only jars on this table probably like that. Uh, but Young Tuck, let's teach you something from our homeland. When okay. someone gives you a sack of weed, you should roll the largest joint you can out of it. It's kind of the rule. It's kind of the rule. You know, so we'll just go ahead and crumble the rest of this little bit in here. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> Yeah, that's what you're getting at. <laughs> yeah, I've got a little dusted again. Well, I think that might also just be a more fine grind for me grinding a little too much. Mm. I always grind my weed a little bit too fine. Well, that's because you're in Colorado uh, and it's hard it, not to. It's hard not yeah, to. Yeah, you got to get like one or two <laughs> rolls on it. But no, that's not so bad. Oh, but did you just pick? Oh, no. So then good. should you look for stickier weed? All right. One like when you're going totally to a dispensary? Is. Okay, so that's a good question. Because then, like, say if I get like an uh, like a half of some weed that's pretty sticky when I get it, it'll dry out like over time, right? Yeah. So is it better to get something that starts out a little stickier so it's better, like <coughs> later on? Weed should be the perfect moisture level, and you keep it that way until you consume it. And I know that's hard, that's easy for me to say, but people want me to quantify it all the time. And if I said 10 or 12% moisture, I think I'd be right in there. But you don't have a fucking moisture meter, and neither do I. Yeah. Right. So, like, you know, how do you know when you say sticky, right? I don't know if that's the right terminology because, like, CD4, Kim Dog 4, mm. that is just greasy, sticky as mm. feeling weed. And then, like, some of the Urkel stuff is just so, like, greasy, but. You know, and it, you stick to it, but it's it it's a uh, you know it's a moisture level that you're interested. In. Who's picking this? You picking time? Yeah, it's me. You should be able to just look at it and see if it's too dry. Yeah. Right. Now, when we were at the event the other day, I had fucking Adam Dunn and Bickle, Matt Bickle, talking some shit. I hope Bickle's listening to this. Bickle's like he smells his jar and he's like, <laughs> oh man. Oh. They overwatered this. I can smell that they overwatered. <laughs> I remember this one. <laughs> this is literally all we got in the submission. Uh, <laughs> oh, really? This was the submission. This yeah. that was the submission. This right one, there. Nug, a yeah. nug. I mean, it doesn't smell too bad. Nothing. Uh, That's not a good way to describe. Yeah, it doesn't no, smell it's too bad. Nothing special. That's for sure. <laughs> it just smells. It just smells like some regular old weed. <laughs> yeah, just go ahead and pick another one. Who's no next? Is it my turn? Yep. Mm, great. I'll fire this, this <laughs> point of Gorilla Glue up That's... here. And we're back. I had to have a little break there. Is that what we're talking about? I thought that was Gorilla Glue. Gorilla Glue. Oh. <laughs> Tastes like him. I was like, hold on. What that? <laughs> now this dog. is, yeah, it's Gorilla Glue rel- relative, right? Yeah. What about the gen- genetics are? We're about to you know, we're gonna look at yeah, it. We'll get the wide, You know, I, I used to be this encyclopedia of genetic cannabis genetics, but I gave up after uh, it's so easily accessible. I just stopped putting that information in my brain, and I just look it up now. So, so is there a certain, well, like, flavor profile I should be looking that for? don't really tell you anything anyway. Well, that's, that's Gorilla Glue. That's what that tastes like. To me, I always like to describe cannabis in, in like, origin type. Description. So it's, it says here, sorry to interrupt you, that's a three-way of chem sister, sour dub, and chocolate diesel. 
Yeah, Cam I says. I don't know. I'm dubious about that. Is that really? Sugar? I definitely always yeah. smoke. I always smell the Cam for sure. Yeah, it's Cam. There's, there's. Ah, uh, this is. It's uh, a Cam relative for sure. This is on Leafly. So. What? No offense, Leafly, but that doesn't. Have do you, you, we need a second opinion? Do we need a second opinion? We'll go to all bud. To me, to well, second opinion to me is always had like a uh, that Bubba Afghan type taste. Affy, that Bubba taste. This one says uh, chocolate diesel, with, uh, sour diesel, all bud. With uh, I always, I definitely taste the diesel and the, the Kim, Kim dog. dog. The Kim dog's prominent flavor. I don't really smell the chocolate in there at all. But I would understand that's where they'd get the name the Girl chocolate, Scout cookies from because yeah, everyone likes I think the, the ch- chocolate part, man, you know, that whole Kim Dog family, it's so rich. Oh, this and is greasy. awesome. Okay. Gorilla Glue number four is now an award winning product from GG Seeds. However, Gorilla Glue itself was created by accident. A Kim says hermaphrodite plant pollinated a sourdough. So again, Kim's breeders a, just trying to pollinate hermaphrodite plants. Or not no, even no, trying. they're not even trying. It's just they just accidentally. Plants. It accidentally happened. The plant wanted to produce. They like didn't they produce didn't that. Have a light leak mm-hmm. or they didn't no, they did something wrong. That's what I'm saying. So they weren't her, trying the to do that. The plant was eventually destroyed, but some seeds remained. So your genetic seed stock. No, is, they seeded out a whole room. Guaranteed. You don't just have all oh, this I'm one. I'm laughing at what they No, nah, I'm with Jess. I'm with that. Jess. Here's what happened. They cropped that shit. They had high heat. They had light leak. They had poor genetic selection. It hermaphrodited. Nobody noticed it until it was drying in the sack, and they started pulling out s- seeds. Right, and this and is how all the weed has, has, has occurred. Yeah, yeah and then they because because w- cannabis it wants to propagate, yeah. and it knows when it's time. So that's how it makes the OG Kush. That's how it came about. The sour diesel came about. Bubba's came about that way. All of the great great weed here in the U.S. really came about by the, the the cannabis plants' desire to propagate, and it had nothing to do with so called breeders. And a lot of these strains, too, that they're new and exotic and stuff like that, it's not like how people used to work through genetics. Like, people mm-hmm. used to pop 500, 1,000 seeds and end up with yeah. three. Now people talk about the six seeds they have and how they got four keepers and they had two males. And you're like, that's not how the math works. Well, that's that's how you get unstable breeding. genetics, right, you know? Exactly. That's not even breeding. This is just people popping seeds and saying, oh... Anybody I can, got this, you know, new sherbet cross, and it's right. amazing. Then you grew it one time, and then it herms out the whole garden. And then you got seeds from that, and then they're taking those seeds and saying, and oh, this must be the new piece. one. <sighs> like, that's how you end up with this weed that smells like nothing, looks like nothing. Being a breeder is, it has this, uh, when you call yourself a breeder or when you're a breeding company, one, it can be lucrative. But two, there's this mm, superstar status that people, like, give themselves over it. It, yeah. Well, all it takes right. is somebody who's never had money to get a little money to think they're a superstar. Yeah, well, it's not just breeders. I'm talking. I'm breeders talking about are. the predominant breeding scenario where people just force flower random clones that have already been force flowered to make some seeds, right? Like that's fucking bullshit, right? Like Caleb CSI Genetics. He has specific forced flowered females that he forces the flowers on to pollinate his other females. He does it specifically so that when the seeds you get, they're S1s and they have a low chance of hermaphrodite flower showing up on them. They have a known result of what the plant's going to look like because he's also planted them out in larger crops to see what the pheno expression is, right? And and like that's a that's a somebody doing something breeding, so, you know, work selection, right? Right? Because because you could do the same because you could do this. You could go and get a pack of his S one Urkels, pop them out, and force one of the females, and then take th- that female and cross it with an OG female you could go do that right but your results wouldn't be the same because caleb has selected the plant that is the best one to be the male right and you're just randomly picking one or you're randomly getting one out of six 
or you're randomly getting one out of six. You're just taking or what you get. You're also you're not getting his parent stock because he's using this specific Urkel parent stock. This the the Urkel, which was also a hermaphrodite in itself, and in my belief, maybe he has different. There was lots of seeds and stuff going on with that stuff over the years, but the original plant was hermaphrodite. Uh, it's your turn. Your turn. That seeded it out. Somebody got some seeds and planted it. It was a closely held plant, and people didn't give it out. Same thing with train wreck. Same thing with sour diesel. That's why they call it sour diesel because it was diesel. My turn. Your turn. <laughs> Start smoking weed and love. Look. Start philosophizing. Mm-hmm. AKA shit talking. <laughs> oh, it smells good. Oh, has the deep positivity smell. risen? With no, that's dryness? a deep smell. Hey, you know, I'm not. I'm not a hater <laughs> at all. I want the weed to be good. I want you to have great weed because I want to fucking smoke it. No doubt. Well, I'm just going to say that weed was strong, that we smoked. Yeah, the weed the we just delivery. smoked was good. That, was the, that, that weed got good. me the highest. The first two joints props to who didn't that was? do much. He gave props. He I gave did. props did earlier. Did props to Yeah, Mr. Nice Guys. Oh, that was Mr. Nice Guys. Okay. Props. Props. Props, Mr. Nice Guys. <laughs> oh, I forgot. <laughs> I got stoned and forgot what we were doing. Okay. Oh. <laughs> the glue got her. <laughs> it smells okay. I mean, it's almost got that... Hit, that uh, yeah, it's your smell, but it's it doesn't like stand out exciting. It smells but like old school weed. Here's here's just looking at it. I mean, it not even me I didn't I didn't even look at it. You just see me. I didn't even look at it. When you breathed it in, it had a complete smell, right? And there wasn't like any green with it. There wasn't any quick dry in it. There wasn't like moisture or mold. Right, so that's what made it does it, have a good cure. It. That's what made it smell good to me. It like, does have a good cure. You know, it means more than just a good cure. Because now that we look at the weed, we break it out. You see how it has it, how it has leaves folded up here like mm. that. There's no way that could be machine trim, yeah. trim. Right now, that's crystal, farmer though. trim. Yeah, not much right, and it's not crystal. very crystally. But like, man, like as far as the it's cure, this is probably organic yeah. weed. Who is this? And, and how do you, how would you pronounce that? Quattro. Quattro. Mm. You know who these people are? Uh, it's the same as the. Oh, rags. oh, I know that. Actually, I do know that. And it's not organic, but they do use like high quality, very high quality nutrients. Okay. This then this was just a little bit early. It does. It's not crystally. But this is hand trimmed. Yeah, and that looks right? it's it looks and that's good. Not and it sculpted. smells. That's not sculpted. No, like it has a very one. unique smell. That strain is that indoor. Definitely indoor. So that's just a four-way quattro? Is that what's going on? That might be, yeah. Is there a way you can tell just by looking at the difference between indoor and greenhouse? Greenhouse, mm-hmm. eh, a lot of times greenhouse will have a darker look, even on lighter strains. Well, because just looks... that is a darker-looking bud to me. I think the hairs are just redder on this strain. Yeah, I think it looks a little dark, too. Yeah, I can see how you can see that, though. Mm. But that could, you know, like Kim Dog gets darker. But this, is, this is a... OG cross or something like a four way OG or something. I mean, it smells, it smells like it's pretty great. good. I mean, the smells okay. Yeah, Quattro I mean, uh, it's yeah, I okay. think it smells. It, it, it doesn't have chlorophyll in it, it definitely doesn't smell like chlorophyll. It's it doesn't dry. smell like quick dry. It's not, mo- it's not wet, it's you, not think moldy. It's, yeah, you definitely, see? it smells like Kush when you really get in there, but you I see? still have to really get in there. 707 well, just... headband triangle Kush San Fernando Valley OG, yeah. San Fernando Valley. So it's that right. triangle cushed term on them. And... <laughs> yeah. So it's a quattro I mean, with three strings. I would strings. smoke it if I wasn't so high right now, but I would also pass it for something else is what I'm going to say. Who's turn? Right. I'm picking one right here. We're okay, hey, right so here. There's, a, there's, a, there's a great, right there, that's a great thing about weed, is everybody can have a little bit of a different opinion for a different reason. See, I feel like Jessica, she's just like, eh, eh, gee. And that's why she's poopy like a little OG, bit. But, but she's normalized it. She's normalized stuttering. it, right? <laughs> uh, it's like oh, it's like it's like OG. Well, uh, you know, OG. It's got a good smell. It's, it's got a good smell. I mean, actually, a little I like, dirt, a little kind of like that dirty smell, not so sweet. <sighs> You know, it definitely has a wookie OG's smell to it. Yeah, it smells like sure, smells dude. like dirty, like, oh, like totally dirty people, armpit. like a musky van. Oh, it smells like a wookie, but not, not, right. but not, but not, like, not like but, wet musky van, just like a but musky see, that's van all, that's been in the that's sun. That's an all terpene smell, right? Yeah, yeah. Right. fully terpene that's, smell. That's fully terped out, brah. Yeah, 
Well, we already smoked one Wookiee, right? We smoked Wookiees. Wookiees. We smoked so, Wookiees, and now this is Wookiee Kush. Again, yeah, so, everyone so. just, like, adds Kush, you know, for blend it with Kush. <laughs> I mean, I like Kush. Don't get me wrong. I there are a lot of Kushes. But at some point, it smells generic to me. It, it doesn't what, stand what out. Is, it's what not is this, like, generic? aromatic, like, complexity. That yeah, it just smells more just like, smell. a, it just smells like a generic Kush. Okay, what so it's it? also either... And it's, like, not either... as diesel as diesel, so it's, like, a minute petroleum smell. It's, I, I think this is just close trim. Maybe it's machine trim, but, like, again, maybe sculpted nuggets. Yeah, they're just tight. Uh, just, like, some t- Kushes are just tight. such tight yeah, little it's balls. Total right. Kush, you know? I mean, which is... Beautiful man. I mean, yeah. I'll always be happy. Oh, and this is a good grower too. Yeah. Hey man, I know. I, like I, I know you. Give it one more week of water. That shit will be so good. Hey. <laughs> man, I'm smelling. Yeah, it that's here. good though. Totally. This lavender and Ap- this is the ours. lavender in Appalachia. Yeah. Okay. Wookie Kush. Oh, we'll I don't know why. It Kush, reminds yeah. me of the cookies, but I know it's not. I don't know why the smell is like. To me, it just smells like. OG Kush, which it smells but, like good OG. It smells but it, like it does smell like good OG, which yeah. is great. But it does have that armpit smell, man. The OG doesn't really have. That's where that. the Wookie comes from. Yeah, that it's, it's got that on it. Because yeah, a, a good Kush, it's in my opinion, it smells smell just like first one smells like gas smell. in the dirt. You know, like. All right, who's up? I shouldn't look at the name before I smell it. I mean, it smells, I mean, it's got that citrus smell, but, like, not overwhelming. Yeah, it's, it's got a nice smell. It smells, I mean, to me, I like the smell of those. Again, whoever said it earlier, they don't really get you high. Um, but it smells good. It smells, it smells good, and, like, for joints, I think it would be great tasting. Oh, yeah, totally. This it's, and, and it's great for extraction. For extraction. Yeah, oh, yeah, the hash and, is great. And, yeah. you know, honestly, and... and I'd love this, that essential oil. This is Clementine, and this whole, like, Tange, Clementine, Calio, that whole lineage, I mean, it packages great and it stores for a long time. And yeah. the smell, when you open it, you get a smell. Yeah, totally. Totally. Yeah. totally, totally. And if it's fresh, you get an incredible smell. It's one of the, it's it smells, old, it doesn't like, smell so like smell. weed, necessarily. It smells more like a... Smells exactly well, I feel like, like that'd it says be something it is. that like your grandma would smell and like want some of Yeah, she'd be like, that's not weed. marijuana. Yeah, exactly. It's like a nice scented candle. Yeah. But yet again, I've smoked so many of those strains because they smell good and they taste great too. It just doesn't. But it, yeah, it doesn't pack that punch, you know. That you gotta like roll keef in that joint, and then it would be. Really and then good. you get yeah, exactly, because then you get the flavor and you get high. You know, like live resin. But I think there's great incredible. potential just for commercial market. Oh, for commercial that, market, especially and, for people who don't who they want to smoke weed but actually don't want to get high. And extractions, because like pens and I love, I love. I love. Yeah, when I go on when I go on vacation, I always find myself. You kids love that fruity stuff. <laughs> who's yeah, who's sure. who, whose role is it? Now it's me. All right, hey, let's pick a good one and, and smell it. Dump it down on the table, and now describe it for us. Now that we've had an hour of uh, bullshit in here about weed. Okay. Opening the jar. It's very quiet. <laughs> Hang on, guy, going for round two. Well, it smells good. What do you mean by that? Uh, After an hour, that's what you can do. <laughs> it smells good. I know, that was well, as I was saying, I got to work on my descriptors. But, uh, not descriptors. Is it fully terped, bro? Uh, I don't know about smell? that. It's not like an overwhelming smell. Does it have a chlorophene smell? A what? Chlor- <laughs> chlor- how, how would you classify it? Does it smell <laughs> gassy? Does it smell fruity? Does it smell citrusy? Does musty. it smell musty? Yeah, does is it, it smell dry? Hazy? Is it moist? Uh, in smell. In smell. Oh, we got the pressures going yeah, on. Yeah. It's well. I mean, no. It smells kind of dry. He's gonna revert back to and, his native language. Uh, yeah, I don't know. The smell, like, it's nothing great. You just said it was good. It smells good. Yeah, but it's like. It smells good, but nothing great. It, it keeps there we go, me, Tucker. It just keeps reminding me of like the cookie. So I don't know if there's something in that, like the, if that's a gassiness or something, maybe. Oh, would you? Pr- but when you crush it, it smells like blueberry. Yeah, it smells like blueberry. It but you gotta like, crush it. it. Smells like blueberry headband or something. What is that? Oh yeah, 
platinum huckleberry. Yeah, I like I like the huckleberry. So it's platinum OG and huckleberry. Or yeah. I like the Huckleberry. Uh, I also like this. Okay, continue this telling, is, yeah. conti- continue right. telling us about well, it. Well, what, did you want to finish what you were saying? I was just going to say the trim job on this is like the epitome of a farmer trim. Okay. I personally respect that. I <laughs> do too. I like the farmer yeah, trim. So I like the I farmer trim say, on it. If it's crystally it that much. It on it and stuff. Yeah. So but the leaves are crystal not machine trimmed. Okay. Very good point. K- k- keep it up. Color wise, it's really like crystally. The leaves are dark like deep green and then the hairs are like a really bright orange compared to like the deep red that we've seen on the other ones and yeah i mean uh what jess was saying once you squeeze it you definitely get more of that like blueberry smell oh uh, it's one of those things one of those buds that uh when i first saw it it's i wouldn't i wouldn't be sure because of just like how it's trimmed as a amateur consumer. Right, the trim job would yeah. make you maybe you know, pass it up. I'm going exactly. to roll a little bit of it up. Just okay, just, absolutely. absolutely. Like, one, type, for it. one is that, that trim job. Yeah, I like the trim job. <laughs> I'm also guilty of like, if I see purple, I'm most likely going to investigate it. Look, hey, there's say, nothing why, why is that? <clears throat> uh, you you know, I don't know. Yeah, I on, guess. Purr. Is it because it doesn't usually get you as high as other strains? Uh, I don't know. Our like purple that. is purple usually associated with indicas. Yeah, it is associated with indicas, yeah. and a lot of times they don't get you like that super stoned. You know. Yeah. Uh, I guess because I like smoking my indicas like at night, like around bedtime. So it's just an association thing. Yeah. So I know like the purple will be an indica, and it's usually like nice smell to it. And... Jacob yeah, was trying but, to roll a small joint with him. I, I didn't see the uh, bigger papers here. Like the purple punch. Like I'm, I was actually surprised we didn't get any. We didn't get a single purple, purple punch submission. I like the purple punch. It's good smoking weed during the day. It yeah. Tastes good, smokes good, but it doesn't get you super stoned either. Well, that's so what I like, like about it is that it smells really that's good. What, and it smells that's what really you good. need to smoke during the day. That yeah. weed that doesn't get you really stoned. Yeah, <laughs> that, exactly. Yeah, so it doesn't get you stupid stuff. high. You're just yeah. and it's like especially if you're out doing something active, going on a hike or something mm-hmm. like that. It's like well, that's why I always you're like, not racing. Your heart's not racing. You're still calm. And relax, but you're not like no, wanting to go to sleep on the side of the pool. Yeah. Hiking up the mountain. Where's your jar? Is this it? Yeah. That's it. Yeah, but right. I think how I would describe this weed would be like if I was thinking about what people like what I don't know, it's it sounds cheesy, but uh I don't know what that is. Oh, that's it's a che- company name? <laughs> <laughs> it's a great name. We won't mention that one. Um <laughs> But we will say we're it was a private platinum. Yeah, okay. like if I didn't know a lot about weed and somebody gave me this weed, I would think after I got to like look at it and smoke it and stuff that it would be what people in like humble and stuff would be smoking. Maybe back like ten, fifteen years ago. Yeah, maybe ten. Yeah, yeah. Guess, yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah, I don't know how accurate that is. And they're like, "No, nah, I'm good on that." Yeah, but it's it's um, the platinum OG that you know it, it's going to get you stoned. Or right. we're pick, about to pick see. aside another we'll one. Let's do another one. Let's do another one. Right, Keep it up. Right, Keep it up. One. Keep it up. I like the blueberry strings. About to send it. Just because that in the Let's let's see it. All right. This one kind of smells. It smells like a skunked beer. All right, oh. excellent, excellent description. Keep it up. Yeah. Keep it up. Okay, which makes sense in a way. Oh yeah. Yeah. All right, tell us about the, this this nugget here. So the nug is definitely machine trimmed. Definitely machine trimmed. Uh, it's pretty hard, and dense. So all these people's is very. Yeah. Uniform so. like that. It's all of their weed. Well, commercial. so would that happen? Yeah. Like if somebody if somebody's dumping like an ounce at a time or something into a trimmer so you can compact it like that or is that from just resting that yeah sitting. you see how it's you see that flat side right oh, there yeah yeah that's from it laying yeah. flat like that mm-hmm. as it dried it's crazy how much this smells like beer really let's let's give i don't it a know shot. why like it reminds of this like of you know i think that beer smell you smell is what i would call must yeah. Well, that's why, like I said, like a skunked beer. Like a beer that's been sitting and yeah, supposed to get that certain smell to it. Again, man, I'm just trained that when 
you should smell weed heavily from across the room, and that's just not the case. Yeah, here. it's definitely. It's like it's still like got that wet musky. Did that taste really good? Yeah, oh, the it's, got, it's got it's got that OG okay. flavor with a little bit of fruit. Okay, keep keep, so, keep scrubbing this uh, weed. It's sticky, so would that mean that maybe it's not like cured enough? I don't know if I'd or... call that sticky as much as spongy. Yeah, yeah. sticky like your hands are like. Oh, well, that's true. Your fingers yeah. stick together. There's not enough trichomes on that to stick together. Yeah, I mean that's. If I saw the full nug in a jar at first glance, I think I would be like, "That's a good looking nug." And then once I like actually got to look at it a little bit more, break it down. Yeah, I wouldn't be so sure. But with that said, I feel like uh, they have a hot room or something. This is this is no crystal on any of their weed. They don't have any crystal in it. It's great, like commercial weed. Yeah, exactly, yeah. because the bag appeal is, you know... That's Great commercial like weed. Day day hard. Is, if you just look at it... Because you're not allowed to touch it to see that yeah, you touch it not one not. Yeah. bit of, like, stickiness at all on it. And it's like what you were saying, it has a nice right. smell, a like strong smell at first, but then it dissipates right away. It's not, like, lingering. Well, I'm going to say that we've touched a lot of buds here, and my hands aren't sticky at all. Just saying. Okay, let's look at some... This let's, is look, good. let's look at some. Uh, this is I'm gonna, the only thing I'm going to tell you about this is this is would be fluffy. What did you? What was the term you used earlier? Airy. Airy. This is a good OG. Airy. No, that's actually not airy. I guess. It's a good smelling OG. Oh well, you're not supposed to look. We should give him the blind taste test. Mm-hmm. Are you sure this is like, like a mixed bag? Oh shit! <laughs> God, did you know that's exactly what I meant. Oh. <laughs> I meant to do that. I meant to do that. <laughs> uh, it smells, it smells like OG. <laughs> but it actually has a stronger OG smell than the other stuff. Yeah. Okay, okay most, people. It's one of next, the most unique. I'm also going to say this too. Next cannabis cup. Okay. Maybe we should have a you're not allowed to enter an OG fucking competition. No, it's all no, just OG no. crosses, man. No, I like a free for all event <laughs> with no rules. Or cookies crosses. Smoke OG event. Right, right. <laughs> Maybe you can respond to that. I mean, I yeah. love OG, don't get me wrong. But so what is, out of all this, nothing has gotten me like, oh my God, oh my God. What is the like essential or OG just, signifiers to point. look for? Well, one is like, it's, uh, it's like it smells. Yeah. It's so what smell. is that? It's the smell. smell. I mean, I I think of it as it's like everything you've smelled so far. <laughs> I think of it as like dirty gas. I don't know. That's just. A, but it's like faint. To me, it's more faint gas. Like sour D is like yeah. fucking. You just spill gasoline like straight, on yourself. Exactly. It smells you like know? it smells like you missed the like you you pulled the thing out and the diesel went on the dirt and you yeah. came back the next day and you're like still kind of smells like gas. Right. But like shitty wet gas. Yeah. Dirty, I think I like uh, that better. I think I like the sweaty, wet gas smell better than the like very faint OG gas smell. Oh, you guys are hysterical! I don't know. What do you? How would you? Say, what would you say? OG you smells like chip. Check it out, man. Well, one OG is now a standard smell. It's a it's a quantifying uh, aroma, right? As in that smells like OG. <laughs> so, there's a couple of them in Canada. It's like, what would you say? Right. It's like, that smells like OG. All right, well, that I'm just going to say, like I just citrus. opened up something that there's no way in hell that's what this actually is because it doesn't smell anything or look anything like it. So, I'm just going to call that out right now without even describing it at all. All right, so I haven't looked at what it is. I get like a little bit of that berry <laughs> for sure. Which it definitely should not smell anything like. This is a uh, Bubba Kush S1. This is a Bubba Kush from Seed, and it often has that uh, a fruity smell that comes on to it. Did the, the Jessica's like, oh, I don't know. Dude, about it, that. That's claiming that's pre 99 Bubba. That's not. That, it's, it's, 90, an S1. And it's, it's an S1. It's an S1. Is what it is. Maybe it's an S1, the pre 98 Bubba. Or 98, sorry. No, what is All the S1? 90s were blur, but. A selfed one first generation S1. Self, so that means you forced a flower, but that's not pre 98 Bubba. No, I've never seen Bubba look like that. No, itself, it smells good though. 
Yeah, but um, I'm 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 claiming dubious. It looks good and smells good, but it doesn't look like Bubba Kush. Maybe it's an S one. I'll give it that because I've because like the bomb threat, fruity smell, mm. small nuggets. Oh yeah. I don't remember that being super. Fruity. I know it was like good sized nugget for Bubba Kush. Yeah. All right, let's have let's have one more from you. All right. Tug, see how you're training. I'm going to pick one. I'm actually going to pick one for you. All right, I'm gonna, we're going to have a speed round. Oh, right. We're going to have a speed round. <laughs> I'm dubious. I think maybe my sniffer's gotten a little bit here. You need those uh, things that, like, clear your... You need, like, smelling salts? Yeah. Neti pots? You can... Yeah, okay, so pot. as an aromatherapist... <laughs> That's if you got, like, a stuffy nose. The three things you can do to cleanse your palate for smelling. Drink water. Smell coffee beans or smell your own armpit. Really? Yep. Huh. What if you have deodorant? Your choice. Oh, maybe not so much deodorant, but your natural smell. Yeah. Oh, well. All right, we're going to have speed round. I'm going to bring out three, three strains here for a young tub. Okay, and then we're going to look at the some of the best weed at the event, right? Because this is just all random weed we're pulling out of the sack. We're going to look at some of the best weed. So do you, you want these jars then? No, next. Okay. That's, that's, that's next on... The Real Dirt. <laughs> okay, here we go. Speed round. Speed round. All right. He's taking this seriously. He's Excited. making sure he can't see the label. Yep. Mm-hmm. All right. Go for jar one. <clears throat> Go. Tuck and runs and un- does the jar. He sm- smells. <sighs> okay. Uh, Smile on his face. Swirls. I'm not the sure. Weed I just feel like jar. I'm not a good smeller. Okay. Okay. What's next? But just I feel what like the first I feel thing like that I comes to mind. Like a little bit of lemon. Mm-hmm. Um, <clears throat> potentially high in lemonade. See, you just don't have any confidence. Just first thing you say, and then move on. That's right, what a speed uh, round is. No, smells like <laughs> that's what lemon. Yeah, it smells like lemon. <laughs> the nugs look like speed they might be down. hand trimmed. They got a lot of leaves on them, so I think it probably is. Uh, they look pretty fluffy. I heard a crunch though from afar. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's crunchy. I don't know if that's a good thing. I guess is that a good thing? Mm-hmm. Probably could be. Just made it nice. <laughs> did it? But did it like disintegrate did, did under this? your hand? When no, you it was just like a nice little. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Okay. So, Way so it's still got line. some integrity to it. Yeah. All right. I won't look at it yet. First thing that comes to your mind: cookies. All right. Cookies. He yeah. loves the cookies. I do like the cookies. All those younger I don't know why I don't got like No, but that's the thing is like that's the only gotten... smell that you right, can identify so far that I've noticed. You're like, it's oh, just the most cookies. Look at the nug is airy. It's got that crunch to it. Uh, it's super frosty. It's like the frostiness overwhelms the hairiness of it. <laughs> which I can appreciate. Wow. You definitely more want more frost than hair. Yeah. You definitely okay. want more frost than hair. Okay. Oh, I hadn't seen that yet today. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm going to see this one. I would disagree with him calling it airy, but you know... Uh, I didn't see... It's not airy. It's just know. the shape of the bud. Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. the yeah. bud structure shines yeah, through. It's the bud structure, and I think the... shaped. Yeah, with the trim job, it looks like what you call farmer's trim. It, would this be mm-hmm. a farmer's trim? Mm-hmm. Uh, but the, le- the leaves are so... Crystally, yeah. That you can leave it on there. You'll want to smoke it all. Mm-hmm. You're not going to pick any of that off and not yeah. put it in your joint. Um, yeah, and just like the leafiness of it, like masks. So the shape the who came from humble. Humble. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> all right, last one. <laughs> oh, that's like lemony ish. Oh, there it is. Look at that. Look at that. I like that. Did you call it lemonade? Wait. Oh, you know what? I might even be able to guess which strain this is from the event, from like seeing it and smelling oh, it and stuff. It was event. popular. At What's the your event? guess? Okay. Um, he smells it again. 
Oh, I'm not entirely sure. That's what I guess I'm, is. I'm That's what, yeah, just, just go for it. What is uh, it? I want to say is either. Uh, oh man. It was a stony event, bruh. Yeah, now I'm not even confident. Well, just um, come on. Come on. First, come on. Thing, first, first thing. First thing. You were so good. You were so good. So so uh, I think I could guess it. And then, well, no, it's... Now we're here. Because now I'm thinking about what I was thinking it was, and I'm picturing the nugs, and it's different. But, uh... I don't know, maybe, uh... I know it's not an OG, right? You could even say who grew it. <laughs> I, that's the thing, is I don't want to do that. Oh, Okay. <laughs> I'm like, you could say who grew it. So what, what did you think it was? Come on. Uh, I thought it was either like uh, the OG Twist or the Mendocino Purple. But I know oh. that's not right young, because I young remember, young Pad, I remember the, young Padwan's got a lot to uh, far yeah. A, a, a long way. You know what the cookie smells like? Though. Or is that the is it headbang? <laughs> the headbanger? No, this is. Uh, it smells just like sugar. This is a Chernobyl. Sugar. It does, Chernobyl. Yeah. But it is but lemon is I mean, a is good frosty, is a good yeah, description of it. Farmers trim is good. a great description of it. It's good, but so what do you think about that? Generic, yeah, sure. yeah, it's generic, though. It's special. good, but uh, it's generic. Anything else you can say? It looks like it really? looks like like great white shark or something back there. Yeah, like, super covered in frost, but like that's what it reminds me of. Is yeah, the great white shark. It looks crazy. like weed that, at first glance, I would initially overlook, but like if the dispensary had it on sale that week or something like that, I would be like, oh, I would check though. it out, and as soon as it's I smelled like it, I would petroleum. probably want to try it. Mm-hmm. Just for that smell. So yeah, this you is can smell this. This is all organic, oh, you can feel water the resin only, on your fingers, really? greenhouse grown. Wow, dude, and you can feel it leaves that nice See, this is softness on your this one. skin. Mm. Yeah, let's smoke I this smoke one. Some of this just because it's it's, it's weird <laughs> that this is another one that uh, it smells really. It's, it's like that unique weird smell, and like it's gonna smoke really good. But I, it, I feel like this strain personally doesn't give me. Doesn't it's give not me my favorite strain, but I, they're one of but my it favorite. It smells growers, really. Good. It almost though. smells like. A, this is Earl's from uh, Earl's. Oh, uh, okay. Leadville. See, Earl's while I was close, I guess another one of Earl's that headband. Oh, uh, see, see. Yeah, that's what I'm smelling right now is their headband. All right. Well, here now. Oh, let's hey, Ted, did you move the weed? What happened I think with those it's jars time. that I had right here? We there's were three. Them. No, well, there's three jars. Yeah. Where are they? Oh, the, your, yeah, the three Where jars that were here. All right. Jacob's not cleaning up crew, man. So the first one was Chernobyl. Or no, the last okay. one was Chernobyl. Right? The last yep. one was Chernobyl. All right. First one. The middle no, that was, was the cookies. second one was cookies. So I did get that You did one. get, you got the cookies. You guessed that one right on. And Wi Fi was the first one. There we go. I just said lemony. You know you're you're doing great. I think we're gonna. And that's uh, barely lemony. Yeah. We're gonna have to do a little bit more right. work in the future. Yeah. Right. Uh, we'll, we'll maybe. We'll... All right. Well, how about now we test the master and give you three blind oh. jars. Uh-huh. See how you I'm do. I'm not a master. Are you, where are you gonna roll oh, the chair? Compared to me, you, you are. Okay, give me three. Bi- give me, give me it three. Reminds me of snow cap. That's what okay. reminds me of. Uh, uh, all right. Okay, oh, so God, I haven't uh, thought about that in a long time. It's a whole strain, huh? So you guys roll it up, and and and, and he's gonna pick me out three three strains me. here. You know. I'll okay, roll here's it. one. Yeah. You don't know what else am I doing? <laughs> He's picking. He's looking through the jars, one at a time. He's trying to go get the get get far I different this types. Count, he's, he's trying to. Up. He's looking at all the labels, counting each twice. Okay, all right. Here we go. Speed round. First round. Opening the jar. All right. He's opening jar number one. Mm, OG something. It's jar number two. Hmm. Gassy something. And uh, <laughs> mm, Euro skunk something. All right, we'll go back to the beginning. Okay. Oh, so this nugget, uh, you know, I need my glasses. I'm getting old here. Oh, should I go? But uh, you know, it's it's very mature. Uh, I like that about it. It looks like it was. Uh, uh, 
looks like it was machine trimmed or rough hand trimmed. You can see all the damage to the calyx there, right? Still a little green on the inside, but uh, yeah, OG something, but not like strong OG flavor. Not really crystally, but uh, um, I don't know. This might be some weed I'd want to smoke though, right? You know, you said you'd overlook it, right? It might be weed I'd want to smoke. All right, here's the next one. All right, big nugget. How you do it? Uh, it's kind of dark. Do you. do you know how to roll? Uh, it? It's definitely hand trimmed. All right, and the third one. All right, third one. Oh, uh, it's that lighter colored um, skunk C99 type weed. Feels a little weird. It's definitely uh, early, a little early. With that, like. It's got a light smell to it. All right, Golden Goat. Mm. Was the early light one? Yeah. Okay. Big Nugget. Totally early. It's like man, like diesel smelling. Some leaf on it. Okay. Not not super oh, crystally. Uh, oh, that's headband. Fucking banging headband. Right. What did you say about that? That's when I was talking through. I'm sorry. Mm. I, don't know, I can't remember. <laughs> And <laughs> this was motor breath. The first one was motor breath that was real OG smelling. What, what's motor breath? Something OG. Look it up. All right, there's my speed round. I don't think I've ever smoked motor breath. All right. That's All right, well, it's been, a, it's been a great real dirt episode here. It's getting a little out of hand. Everybody's getting a little high. Uh, Tuck's rolling up a pretty sweet joint. I think we're just going to leave it on that. I want to thank you for joining us today on The Real Dirt with Chip Baker. This is a uh, lifestyle podcast where we talk about cannabis culture and cannabis lifestyle. Uh, if you'd like to listen to other episodes similar to this, please download it at therealdirt.com. And you can also look for us on iTunes at The Real Dirt Podcast with Chip Baker. Thanks for joining us. Have a great J. <laughs> it's a good sign off. That's a good one. Well, that was a completely silly episode. I hope you enjoyed it. It was very fun putting it together. We got completely iry, and at there at the end, you saw us all mumbling and whatnot. And fortunately, we have some good editors, so they edit out some of the bloopers or pauses or spaces out. But it was a good time, man. And, you know, I learned something going through this exercise. We're getting stoned, and I really realized, like, I need to work up on my game a little bit on how to describe, you know, the, the smells and the flavors and and the terpenes and, you know, I, I need to do my, my job as well. So I, I'm going to work on that. I think, uh, Travis learned a lot and he had a good time next time. He's going to be able to like, uh, talk about the qualities of individual cannabis flowers when they're presented to them in, in a maybe, maybe cooler way. So, uh, you know, I wanted to mention this one little thing here is I've been listening to a ton of podcasts and so many of them have advertisers at the front of it. And I understand the need to have advertisers. We have had some sponsors in the past. But man, I hate listening to a fucking like two or three or four or six minutes on why like, you know, so-and-so product is the best. And I see it throughout the cannabis industry. I see it throughout the news industry. You know, I, I listen to podcasts, I, I research podcasts so I can bring you a better, better product. And I just really don't like the advertising portions of it. So I'm going to make a promise that I'm never going to do it like that. Even though when we do have sponsors and we do have advertisers in the futures and in the past, I'm just going to not like, like do it like that. It's going to be short advertisements just like this. If you're in Denver or the Colorado area, or hey, you're setting up a commercial grow room throughout the anywhere throughout the United States, please contact us at Cultivate Colorado. You can check out our website at CultivateColorado.com and we can service all of your commercial needs for setting up commercial size operations. Just give us an email, I guess, would be the proper phraseology, or give us a call and ask for commercial sales. Something like that.
right? Real short, you know, real small. I love having these guys on today. I really appreciate you lending me your time and your ear. I know it's valuable. And many of you don't even get to this portion of the show. (laughs) So if you do get to this portion of the show, maybe shout me out on Instagram that you heard it all. And uh, if you don't, no big deal. Uh, I hope you enjoyed whatever you listened to of it. So this has been another episode of The Real Dirt. Please download this episode and others at therealdirt.com or on iTunes, The Real Dirt Podcast with Chip Baker. Thanks a lot, and uh, we'll see you uh, next week or so. Stay high.